As Mr. Bowman here, we're looking at the 2.7 calculus methods exam from 2016. We are focusing on the achieved questions only. I've got all four, all three of them um, over here. So let's have a look at question four. So question number four, um, a function f is given by this function here. So that's 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x minus 4. We've been asked to find the gradient where x is equal to negative or positive 2. So really common achieved question about finding the gradient. And this is really about differentiating, substituting, and then evaluating that final number. So let's get down our original function, which we need to differentiate. So fx is equal to 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x minus 4. That's our original equation. We now need to differentiate. So we're looking for f dash x, or the gradient function. Um, we're going to go 4 times 3 gets us to 12, and reduce the power by 1. And then we've got 7 times 2, which is 14, reduce the power by 1. So that becomes 1 by itself. That's invisible. We can get rid of that. And the x goes away. That becomes plus 2, and we can ignore the minus 4, because that would become 0. So that's our gradient function. This will tell us the gradient at any point along this graph. And we now know that x is equal to 2. Well, that's the point we're interested in. So f dash 2 is going to be equal to 12 of 2 squared. So we're substituting in 2. Minus 14 times 2 plus 2. Four, sorry, 12 times 2 squared is 12 times 4. So that's 48. Minus 12, or 14 times 2, 28 plus 2. That there is going to get us to 20. Adding on that 2 gives us a final answer of 22. So when x is equal to 2, we're going to have a very steep incline with a gradient of positive 22. So we're now up to question number 5, and I've got the graph kind of blown up as some guidance for us. So let's have a look through the question. So the diagram shows the original function. So... Um, and there it is. It looks like a cubic. Um, on the axes, this is below, but provided, we'll just do it on the same one. Sketch the graph or the gradient function of this graph. And the key thing is sketch doesn't mean, doesn't mean it has to be perfect. Um, just it has to have the key features of what the gradient function should be. So the first bit of information we need to pull out. So this graph, we need to see lots of little things, pull it all out, and put all that information together for what the gradient function might look like. So the first thing I'm seeing is this here is a positive cubic. So I'm just going to make up a formula. So if you think of a positive cubic, y equals x cubed, that's a positive cubic. If you differentiate that, that's going to become 3x squared. And what that 3x squared tells us is it's a narrow parabola so it's, um, so it's a skinny parabola, and it's positive. So that's the first bit of information. Oh, I should write, or the most important part, it's a parabola. So that's the first part, or the first bit of information I can use to draw this graph. The other bit of information I need is I need to know a bit about the turning points. And we can see there's two turning points. Um, what's that? That there is negative 2, and that there is positive 1. So two turning points, and at both of those turning points, if you think of the tangents, they'll be going along those, they would both have a gradient of zero. So if you think of the y-axis as a measure of the gradient, that would be zero, or they would be touching the x-axis along here. So we know that our gradient function is going to have two x-intercepts, one at negative two here, and then one at positive one over here. So that's the first, the next bit of information. Turning points. They've got a gradient of zero. So we've put that into our graph now. And the final bit of information um, is the, the minimum or the maximum of our parabola. So we can kind of see two or negative two, positive one. The middle is going to be in that half range. So we know the the minimum of our positive parabola will be somewhere along there. And this is where that idea of a sketch comes in. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to roughly estimate it would be about here. Once you've done that, you've got your three points. You know it's going to be skinny, so your job is to then draw a rough connection of the dots. Here's my rough version. 
Um, so you can see it's not the best Parabola in the world, but you probably get your marks for that. But let's have another go. Let's smooth out the bottom a bit more. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, forgive the shaky hands. So that there would be my sketch of the gradient function. It's a positive parabola. It's skinny, and it's got those two x-intercepts or the two turning points at the appropriate parts. Okay, we are now on to question number six. Um, we've got the gradient function that's been given to us there. Um, they've used dy dx. That's the same as y dash or f dash x. We've been told that the curve or the original thing will pass through the point 1, 0. And we've been asked to find the original equation of this curve. Let's pop down our original function. So dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 5. We've been asked to find the original equation, which means we are going to have to integrate. So y, or you might call it f dash x, that's going to be equal to the coefficient divide by the power plus 1, and then we're going to have x power plus 1 minus 5x plus c. We're now going to simplify that, so that's going to become x cubed minus 5x plus c, and that's y is equal to that. Um, the issue here is the plus c is really annoying in integration, so we need to find or substitute in another point to then figure out the c, and we've been given that at 1 comma 0. So at that point, 1 comma 0, we know that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. So we're going to substitute both of those in. So 0 is going to be equal to 1 cubed minus 5 times 1 plus c. We then evaluate and simplify. So 1 cubed is 1. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5 plus c. So we've got 0 is equal to negative 4 plus c. We're going to go plus 4 plus 4 telling us that c is equal to positive 4. That's our c value. Don't forget to state the final equation because that's what the question was. So we know that y is going to be equal to x cubed minus 5x plus 4. So thanks so much for watching for the, this video, guys. This was the 2016 Achieved Questions for 2.7 Calculus. Keep an eye on the 17 and 18 exams. It should be up pretty soon.